Talo falava o la uingo o Mary Jane me kibin chwenki. O te sao mai le la la fanga a wala i sabai. Talo falava, I'm Mary Jane me kibin chwenki and I come from Samoa. I am the director of Matavai Cultural Arts here in Preston. I've um, in the past been a radio broadcaster for Pacific Media Network in New Zealand and I had my own uh, radio program for about six years so I studied uh, journalism there too. But um, public relations is my passion. I've um, worked in Samoa as a marketing officer for insurance, I've also been a cultural advisors office uh, for the Samoa Visitors Bureau. So it's, it's always been something cultural and working with Pacific people. The fact that being Afakasi myself, half half Samoan, half Balangi from New Zealand, I, I know the struggles and what it's like to not feel like you belong anywhere and, and I can only imagine that it's something that, that young uh, um, Pacific Island Māori people still feel even today whether you're half or full or, or whatever the case may be. It's really that sense of, of cultural identity and, and I thought that rather than sit around and whinge and complain and talk about it, um, why not be one of those people that tries to find a way and a solution uh, to the problem. One of the things that I'm always big on is, is I guess, being a role model and, and proving that, that, that we can be self-sustainable. You know, we don't have to rely on, on others all the time and not saying that that's what we do as a community, but just for myself too. It was, it was something I wanted to prove to myself. So A, yes, I want a successful business to run. Um, B, and, and this is on the same line, it's, it's not above or, or below, I wanted a place where even my own children can come to and say I learnt something about myself today. I can go into the community and I can be a confident Pacific Islander and I can be proud of where I'm from and I could know that um, where I am from I am I'm smart, I have so much to be proud of and, and I'm so happy that my, even my own kids enjoy the programs here. do things out of sheer passion. So, so I will not do a job unless I feel like my heart is leading me there. And, and it's always been in the field of, of helping the community, Pacific Islanders, um, Māori. Why? I guess it's because growing up, that was first and foremost who I was. I was a Samoan girl growing up in Australia. And it wasn't until I went back to Samoa and I discovered for myself the meaning of so many things that were just questionable to me. Um, did I realise, hey, I've learnt something. I could bring this back to, to Australia, to Sydney, and I could share this with other people, and then maybe they wouldn't have to go through, a, you know, a rockier journey. They'd have a little bit more understanding, or it might just open up their minds a little bit more to, to finding out more about their culture. Some of the key lessons that I've learned along the way, and I think this was something from very, a very young age, is to work hard at what you do, whether it's studying, whatever it is, but with performing, I always wanted to be the best. I wanted to be memorable, and I wanted it to be professional. So I would work very hard, four times a week training on dancing alone. Um, and then, of course, the business side, that, that takes a lot of work, so I would I would say one of the most important things is to work hard at what you do. If you are wanting to go into performing arts, um, I, I would say most definitely study. You know, it, for longevity in your career, it's always good. I did not study performing arts, but I've been around people that have, and just to see the way they can bring out their idea or their expressions onto the stage is something that you can only really gain if you study. At, at university or whatever, but if people don't have that, that opportunity, then to be around like-minded people, be with people that love to be creative, people that will encourage you, people that are supportive, um, get into a theatre group or join a dance group even, and never stop getting better and growing from that.